Welcome once again ladies and gentlemen to silver.international I hope good fortune is smiling upon you today and most important of all that you're in good health. In today's video I'm going to show this Vatican 2 euro cent coin from 2007. I bought this individual coin together with some other coins in one large lot and that's the reason I only have this uh, individual coin Vatican City 2 Eurocent coin from 2007 to show but uh, yeah wait till um, what I have to say more about uh, this 2 Eurocent coin the price I paid for this coin was like uh, 6 euros and that would amount to something like 6.5 US dollars and maybe you're thinking right now 6 euros We want to see coins that are worth hundreds of euros. Okay, so hold your horses, nobody's getting tortured or burned, but let's get things into perspective. Two euro cent uh, coins are still minted and used in some European countries, but they won't accept it uh, in my country, uh, however, in my country would be uh, the Netherlands. Everything is rounded off uh, uh, when it comes to prices and uh, you have to go to the counter and uh, yeah, pay for uh, the stuff. The smallest coinage we use uh, in those euro coins is the 5 cent uh, denomination. So with the 2 euro cents I can buy nothing and uh, not even one quarter of a slice of bread. Or not even a candy ball from one of those vending machines you uh, see sometimes in the shops. I think you have to insert 5 cents at least. But I'm not sure actually because it's a long time. Uh, since I was a kid and got something out of these uh, candy ball uh, machines. And yeah, by the way, these videos aren't made for children. So um, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, so uh, like I said, I bought uh, this coin for uh, 6 euros. Its estimated value would also be something like 6 to 8 euros. So yeah, I didn't bought it uh, for cheap, nor did I uh, did, yeah, bought it uh, for an expensive price. But if you think about it, 6 euros is 600 cents. When we divide uh, this by 2, that would be the, yeah, the face value uh, of the 2 euro cent, we uh, get 300, yeah, well, 300 times. And uh, yeah, 300 times uh, is of course a lot. And these 2 cents aren't worth anything when I want to buy something in a grocery store, for example. But when I sell this coin, for six euros, uh, let's let's take the lowest uh, at an auction or marketplace site. I can buy a couple of breads and uh, maybe even a cheap package of those uh, candy bars. So um, yeah, that uh, into uh, perspective, and uh, let's continue with the specifications uh, of this coin. It's a uh, copper plated steel uh, composition. The mintage of this 2 euro cent coin is uh, 101,000 pieces and of those 101,000 pieces, 16,000 uh, were made for the proof uh, versions. The weight is uh, 3.06 grams. It uh, has a diameter of 18.75 millimeters and the uh, thickness would be uh, 1.67 millimeters. So on the obverse, which is made by or engraved by uh, two ladies, the name of these ladies uh, are uh, Daniela De Longo and Luciana Di Simoni. I like those uh, Italian names. They, uh, they have a very exotic vibe uh, to them. And oh yeah, so uh, on the obverse we have the depiction of uh, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. Um, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth became Pope in uh, two thousand and five, 
and he stayed Pope until uh, 2013 and then um, yeah he, he um, resigned from the Pope position and he was actually the first Pope in quite a long time to um, yeah resign his uh, Pope position uh, when he was still alive and that would mean that other Popes yeah would have uh, died uh, <laughs> in their uh, job uh, last man standing uh, so okay so uh, this is uh, of course his uh, depiction he was uh, succeeded by uh, Pope Francis and this was the first Jesuit and the first uh, Latin American uh, person to become uh, Pope of the Catholic Church also the first one uh, of the Southern Hemisphere to uh, become Pope. Uh, he is uh, surrounded by the 12 stars of the original uh, founding countries of the yeah, that made up the European Union. And in the text it says Cita del Vaticano, which means uh, Vatican City. And uh, yeah, even that uh, sounds uh, quite, uh, quite nice. On the other side, we, uh, which is the yeah the reverse side, uh, of course, we have the denomination of the two cents, two euro cents, and uh, we have a globe which shows uh, Europe, parts of uh, Africa, Asia, and uh, once again we have the twelve stars uh, showing, so uh, six on each side. The reverse uh, for all coins, by the way, is made by uh, Luc Lux. So he does all the reverse uh, sides of uh, the coins or euro coins. And let me see uh, how the edge is. And I hope you can see uh, this is uh, quite visible. The edge is uh, quite smooth but has a uh, groove in the middle. Yeah, groove in the middle. Groovy! I'm gonna put this back right there so it seems nice so as you can see it's uh, in quite uh, still a mint uh, condition I I would say that it is uncirculated but um, yeah it has some fingerprints on it but like I said it's still in a very uh, mint condition so um, yeah the six were euros I paid for it uh, were uh, yeah worth it but uh, although I uh, bought this coin uh, myself uh, it isn't in my collection uh, sadly because uh, I gave it as a gift to a friend of mine who also collects Euro coins and didn't have one of uh, Vatican City yet. So uh, I gave it to him because he uh, also yeah he, he does uh, a lot of things for me and uh, he's always good for me. So um, this was one of the least things I could do for him. And for the purpose of this video, I asked if I could lend it a couple of days. So uh, I'm gonna return it uh, to him. Uh, in this uh, capsule, this airtight uh, capsule, but uh, yeah, for me this was uh, also the first time I saw a Vatican Euro uh, City coin up close, and I'm uh, hoping to see uh, more of them uh, in the future. If you also want to see uh, more of these Euro coins or silver bullion coins, uh, I would say uh, subscribe. 